Hi, my name is Willow. And I'm Courtney, and we are gonna and make hot chocolate. So we're gonna do two versions today. We're gonna do so, protein. Protein, protein powder, uh. and milk. <laughs> First, I love about making hot chocolate is um doing all the recipes. And I like doing all kinds of stuff. Like coloring, baking, traveling, see my aunt and grandpas, and going to see my grandparents, all those stuff I like. So, today we were gonna make hot chocolate for sure. So, first we're gonna start off at what's first, mom? So, first, to low medium for the hot chocolate. So first I'll just turn this on. Consistor. And we don't want to burn the milk. Goo goo ga ga. So fun for Christmas. You can add peppermint. That's what's so fun. So keep stirring. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, stir, stir. Da, mix, da, mix, da, mix, da. Mom, can we stop? So what our family loves about this hot chocolate, the protein one, is that it's really simple. It's only three ingredients. It is sugar-free because we use ancient nutrition bone broth. And it's awesome because you've got 20 grams of protein in just one scoop. And then also it's sweetened with monk fruit and stevia. So for those that are sensitive to sugar or wanting to eliminate some sugar, it's a great option for lunch. A part of our family loves hot chocolate. Me and my mom usually so, this is what we're going to do, pour it into this cup. Family, so the second recipe is really simple too. It's if you don't have the protein powder, um, you can just use the raw milk or whatever milk you want, cacao, honey, and sea salt. So, all you have to do is literally pour one cup of milk into the pot. I like to use a pot, we actually don't even have a microwave, so we use um, the stove top for everything. But then I do about a tablespoon of cacao, super simple, about a tablespoon of honey, and then you wanna add a little bit of sea salt to bring all the flavors together. So I'm gonna get this on the stove top. You don't want the milk to boil over and then it could just kind of um, not taste as good or it could burn pretty easily. So you just want to keep stirring. One thing that's super fun to do, especially around the holidays, is add peppermint oil. I use this one from Azure Market, um, which is great. I get a lot of my bulk ingredients from them. And enjoy! So simple, so good. Let us know what you guys think.